the biggest metric that New Relic had a direct impact in is our DevOps headcount. We went from having six DevOps to three DevOps, and they're able to run now increased number of infrastructure because now it's web and mobile at a better level than before. We've been on the DevOps model a year and a half. Before that, we operated a very segmented operations and development completely separate from each other, where development finished the product, they put it on the servers, and then operations had to deal with the fires, basically. They were a fire department within Miniclip. When we first started at Miniclip, there was no DevOps. The term wasn't even around. We did a lot of stuff manually, deployed servers manually, installed servers manually, and we wrote scripts to automate it and stuff. But there was no kind of development operations around. The problem was that developers couldn't see what was going on and didn't have the system knowledge to log into a server and check IOPS or check anything else like that at the system level. With other things we've used in the past, say uh, we've got an error come through, but it would just say there's an error. That doesn't really help us. That's looking for a needle in a haystack, whereas with New Relic, it will give us the file name, the line number, and basically anything that we can put into that error report into New Relic, it would give us back. What New Relic did was allowed a very easy way to look into this stuff. They can go into the APM product and see that all of a sudden response times are growing, and then go to the transactions in New Relic and see that, okay, well, this particular transaction is now all of a sudden taking a long time. It allowed us to identify performance issues before they actually became performance issues, which has helped us proactively stop issues from happening. Nowadays, the fusion between the two is so strong that we've seen efficiencies all over the place where before the application goes actually into development, from inception point, the DevOps can provide that operational know-how that can save us hours, days, times, months before we release a product. Mm -hmm.